Hello everyone, this is Little Mew and today is my second tutorial and I'm going to show you how to make cat bug. So start off with some light blue clay. I made this color by mixing ultramarine with a lot of white. Just tear off a small piece and roll it into a ball and then start indenting it about two thirds of the way up until you get a bean shape which is a bit bigger at the bottom than it is at the top. So here I'm just using my color shaper to make the indent a little bit deeper and then just smoothing it out a little bit to make the lines all smooth. And this is the bean like shape that you're left with. And now just take another small ball of clay and roll it into a long log and make the ends slightly pointy and this is going to be for the ears. Cut off the two ends and they should be tiny little cones like this. And now just attach one of the cones to the head and use a needle tool to secure it to the head and smooth it out as well. Now just do the same for the other side and secure that to the head. And that's what that looks like. And now I'm taking a tiny little piece of clay and rolling it out into a very thin log. This is for the arms and the legs. Just taking my blade and cutting off the pointed ends and doing the same for the legs. And this one was too small so I had to do it again. So here I am just making the last leg because all four should be around the same size. Now I'm just taking this ball of red clay and just flattening it out. And now making an indent in it down the middle to make the bug shape back. And just attaching it to Catbug's body and pressing it in. And redefining the indent. And that's what that looks like, just pressing it down a little bit harder. And so now I'm just attaching the limbs. So here I'm taking the first arm and just attaching it to the body and smoothing it down as well using my needle tool. And just do the same with the other side. And now I'm just attaching the legs and just smoothing it down. And doing the same with the other side. And this is what our little cat bug looks like now. And now I'm just taking a screw eye pin and attaching it at the back of cat bug's neck. This is because this cat bug is quite small and the eye pin just looked huge coming out of its head. So now go ahead and bake this according to the instructions on your packet. Once it's all baked, I'm just taking some dark blue paint. I made this color by mixing blue and black. And now I'm just starting to paint on those ladybug like dots on the back of cat bug. And I'm placing them quite randomly. I just have a picture of cat bug in front of me as I do this so that so that I can somewhat have an idea of what the dots should look like but I'm not following anything exactly. Now I'm just taking some black paint and drawing on a little three for the mouth. Completely ignore those white dots, I removed them and redid the eyes later. And now I'm just doing a little U shape below the three. And just enhancing the three a little bit so that he's smiling a little bit more. And I'm just taking a ball tool and dotting on some black eyes. Here my thumb is cleverly covering what you so you can't see it. As you can see when it's done it looks fine. And when the black paint is dry, just take some white paint and dot it right in the middle of the eye. So just a thin black outline remains. And just do the same on the other side. And now I'm just taking some peach colour paint and I'm going to dot that right in the middle of the mouth. And let it dry. And that's what our cat bug looks like now. So he's almost finished, I'm just going to pop him on a safety pin to glaze using Duraclear gloss varnish and a paintbrush and just dabbing the glaze on. And then I'm just hanging him up to dry. And so now your little cat bug is ready to go have some soft tacos. How do you feel about that cat bug? I love you! That's cute. 